Hey guys, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. It's Beer 30. Let's go take a walk, see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer is Cigar City's Ally. Hala. That's how it's pronounced. J-A-I-A-L-I. A-L-A-I. I think it's Hala. Uh, it's, an, it's an IPA, India Pale Ale. Coming in at 7.5%. What's what it's got written here on Rape Beer. Let's see if it has it on the can anywhere. Drink fresh, do not age, pour gently into a glass, 7.5% alcohol by volume. Brewed by Cigar City Brewery, they're out of Tampa, Florida. Guys, I reviewed this beer several years ago, and I've actually reviewed it two different versions, this one and the White Oak version. Uh, this used to be a hard beer to get a hold of unless you lived in Florida. And now they're distributing uh, to several other states. I even They're not here in Virginia, but I think they are either in Pennsylvania or New York up or somewhere where Rico lives, and he's the one that sent me this. In the note, he says, uh, uh, I like uh, Candon 315.17 purchased a couple weeks back for two bucks. 7.5% American IPA with 70 IBUs. So they got all the information there, and it did. Uh, Back when I did it the first time, I don't think they were dating it, I'm not sure. I didn't go back and watch the video. And this one clearly says on the bottom, canned on uh, March 15th of 2017. So uh, that's what we need. Uh, and as far as the IBUs, I did not see it on the can. It's sweating profusely now. Uh, but it may be written on there somewhere. I just don't see it. It's just written so small on there. It's really hard to see sometimes. But anyway, they got the date on the bottom when it was put in the can. And they got the ABV on it. So uh, two out of three, it stands out. Uh, like I said, I reviewed this one several, I think, two, three, four years ago. Uh, uh, a friend of mine, Dennis, uh, lived down in the Tampa area, Fort Myers anyway. And... Uh, he had sent me some to, to do, so uh, I thought it was very tasty, like I said, I, when I we were in Florida the last time, I went to the brewery and took the tour and uh, tried to meet up with one of the owners and he didn't have time to talk to me, so imagine that. And they have a, uh, a little brew pub bar restaurant type deal uh, several miles away uh, north of the brewery and I went up there and the manager there was outstandingly kind and the food was incredible, the Cuban sandwiches were awesome. Uh, he actually gave me some beers to review uh, and I brought them back and reviewed them for, uh, from there. So we're going to re-review this since Rico has picked this up and it's been many moons uh, ago since I had done it. So let's do it uh, and this will be the 2017 edition of the Highlight. Or the re-review, if you will. And it's got a great big long commercial description here on uh, Rape Beer. I am not going to read that, guys. Uh, it's an IPA. So uh, let's get on with it. Let's jump straight into it. Uh, and see what we got. We'll pop the top on this bad boy. And get it into the glass. And see if I'm just as impressed as I was. The first time I did it. Food pairings, cuisine is curried in Thai, cheese of pepper, Monterey, pepper jack, sharp, blue cheddar, your stronger cheeses, gorgonzola, and Limburger, and meat is poultry, fish, shellfish, and salmon, and I'll add grilled meat to that, but I've heard a pint, back or not, like tumbler mug, Simon Seidel, I've got my favorite snifter, 
uh, about a finger of head and not recommended for sending of salarings. Uh, guys, I've had uh, Dennis has sent me uh, several packages uh, over the years with this beer in there. And sometimes it is perfectly clear and no chunkiness and I have had it before that it had a lot of particulates floating around in it. So this particular one looks pretty clear and nice rich amber color. Uh, got a chill haze to it. Uh, I can see a little bit of light through there. Not a whole lot. But I I do think it's a filtered beer. Uh, I'd be surprised if it's not. Uh, finger of head, like I said. Let's get the nose to it. A very nice citrusy aroma. Hints of pine and, and grapefruit. Maybe a little bit of oranges or some uh, tropical fruit notes in there. It smells very nice. And uh, done on uh, the 15th of, uh, of March, 15th of April. And it's not quite the 15th. Today is the 9th of May. So almost, almost uh, two months old. About yeah, seven weeks or so. Smells very good. Smells very... Uh, very pleasant. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Rico. That's very tasty, guys. It, it's still just as tasty as I remember it being the last time I had it or the first time I reviewed it. Not a pricey beer. He says he paid two bucks for it. It's got two fifty on the can here. Of course, just coming from up there in uh, Pennsylvania or New York, up there where Rico lives. I'm not sure how far he had to travel to get it. Uh, instead of Florida, around Tampa, where it's made, I'm sure it's a lot cheaper in Florida, around the brewery, than it is uh, when they ship it to five states away or whatever. Reasonable price from what I remember Dennis telling me. Uh, six pack is usually 10 bucks or less or somewhere in that area. It's not a super pricey beer. And a very tasty beer on top of that too to, to go with that. So, uh, very enjoyable beer. I wish they would release it here. I mean, or distribute it here. Uh, I would probably buy this uh, for 7.5%. This would probably be my replacement for the Bell's Too Hard Ale that I can't get to unless it's three months old or more older. So, uh, very tasty beer. Uh, I, I think it's just as tasty now as it was the first time I had it. Very refreshing beer. Nice hot profile. I don't know if I would call it a West Coast style, but it's definitely hoppier than an East Coast style. Maybe in the middle of the road there. Very easy drinking alcohol. It's very well hidden. Very tasty IPA, guys. This is, this is one I would buy if I could get it here. So, let me sip on it for a while, let her taste it again, and we'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. I just saw the left here. Awesome lacing that's left on the glass. It's a very tasty beer, guys. Uh, don't think it's outstanding or world class, uh, but it is a, uh, it's a decent beer. It's a very nice IPA. Final chug. For 7.5%, very nice citrusy notes, a, hint, a slight hint of some pine and maybe some grapefruit in there and some oranges. Very tasty. Uh, to me guys, I think it's an 8 beer. Uh, I'm not going to give it the 9 or the 10, but I do think it's an 8 beer. Numeric rating on this one would probably be a 93. That's where I'm going to put this. Uh, very enjoyable. I would buy this beer if I could get it here. It is a very tasty beer for 7.5% and not being too pricey to buy. And it does come in six packs. Uh, beer Advocate has it at 94. I could just as easily gave it that number too. Uh, there's no reason, you know, why I didn't. I just, I just didn't. Uh, it could be a 94. I wouldn't argue with that one bit. 
I don't think it's to the 95 category yet, though. Uh, over to uh, Red Beer. Red Beer has 99 over all 99 I saw. Those guys are very impressed with it, evidently. And uh, Untapped has it at 4.03, which is basically their A minus scale, also. That's where I think it is, and that's where Beer Advocate thinks it is. Evidently, Red Beer guys think it's, uh, it's almost a 10 beer, giving it a 99. Uh, not going there. Uh, it's good, but it's not quite that good, in my opinion. Now, Five years ago, six years ago, I, I may have gave this beer a, a 10. But with all the juice bombs that I've had now, the New England style, and some of the super hoppy dry, double dry hop beers that I've been tasting, yeah, not quite to that category anymore. So, if you've had the High Life from Cigar City, their IPA here, uh, let me know what you think, guys. It is a very tasty beer. So, this is the re-review for 2017 of the High Life from Cigar City. And if you've had it, let me know what you think. Come on back tomorrow. Let's take something out of that fridge. See you then.